Hiya. Today we're going to look at making stick and stone pictures. Me and Mary have just been talking about masks and how she thinks they're a good idea. So she got me this one. I don't know why. Anyway, stick and stone pictures. There's an example of one that I made last a few months ago. And it's made in a deep frame. You can see this is about an inch deep. And that's where you start off with one of these photo frames. I'm just going to push the camera down so you can see what's going on. I did want it to be higher up than this, but I can't get it to, to work very well. You can see this stuff, the stuff that we've got. So first of all, we take the back off this. And because we're going to be gluing sticks and bits of sticks and pebbles to it, we have to replace this inner keep the mount we're replacing this with some thicker card so that sits in there like that and that's where we're going to put the picture inside the frame okay. make the frame you can use all sorts of things part of the fun of this is going to the beach and collecting the pebbles try to get them fairly flat so that they'll fit within the depth of the frame and try to get them I try to get them long and thin so that you can make people out of them but you also need some little round ones to use for heads so like that one, that one, they'll make quite good heads. And the good thing about this, doing this, is you can practice before you actually stick anything down. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry about making mistakes. We we'll take the mount off. We have to try and remember the size. Where it's got to fit. And then you can just mess about making the picture. So I'll do it to, toward the camera and see how we get on. Inside the frame but what we can do is let it overlap a little bit careful that they're going to fit in. So I think we're not far off ready there. So, take all of these off. Put the mount back on. I have to glue it from this side because I can't do it that way around. Let's see how we go. The glue I'm using is just a, an ordinary super glue. This one's a Bostic one, but there's plenty of others. Um, you don't need anything else. You could use a wood glue, but this is much quicker and 
it sticks. It sticks fast so you can build the picture. I don't be too big. We may have to rethink this one. The good thing is you can keep messing about trying different different arrangements. There's three people on the bench. Look at that. That will work. And I'll be able to turn it around and show you enough stuff it all together. Now for the seat. If you notice with this one that I've actually trimmed the wood at the back so that it's flat and that it doesn't roll about. If they are uneven you just have to put it on the bit that we're going to make the most contact with the card. At least you hope it's going to make the most contact. This one doesn't seem to want a stick. Let me give it a second or two. Again, when you're collecting the stones, try and get them fairly small, but get them flat. The ideal ones are the ones that you use when you were a kid for skimming stones, so you would throw them like that and see how many times they bounced. So you need at least one flat surface because you've got to get them to stick without falling off.
주시고요. all suck. I'm going to just put this bit of pine cone, half a pine cone, in the top corner. Finished picture. Put that in the frame. careful when you come to do this bit because it's quite tight because we put a much thicker card in the frame is a much tighter fit but there we are I hope that's it done there we are three little people sitting on a bench and as I said the good thing about this is you can practice by practicing just a blank piece of paper you can do Things like let's make a fat cat. You could do dogs too, they're quite easy. There's his body, you can do dog's head. Again, give it some ears and a tail. So that's it. Sticks and stones pictures. Now, what we're hoping to do is to get a kit together so that you could make these yourself. You'd have to go and get the pebbles, but they don't much, take much finding. And the bits of driftwood you can find anywhere in the park. Or, you know, make sure they're dry and that there's no mould on them because you're going to leave it like this for quite a long time and you don't want any mould growing inside the frame. So there we are. Thank you very much.